Hey guys, I'm Satchel Snow, and this beautiful little lizard right here is a crested gecko. These guys are found in New Caledonia, which is an island off of Australia in the Southwest Pacific, and they get their name, the crested gecko, from these beautiful little modified scales above their eyes and this ridge going down their back that makes them one of the coolest little lizards you'll ever see. The crested gecko was thought to have been extinct until it was rediscovered in the early 1990s by a group of explorers when they were in the treetops of that island because they are very arboreal, which means they love living in the trees. And they live in the trees with these little adhesive toe pads that they have that he's clinging to me to. And he can actually go completely vertical or upside down, I should say. And that's because there's millions of little hairs underneath each toe pad that's sticking to the surface and helping them cling really well. And their tail is kind of like a monkey's tail. It's prehensile, which means it can wrap around stuff a little bit. And it also has an adhesive pad on the tip of it as well. So that really helps them climb. And so with that tail, it's a really cool adaptation, but there's a price with it. Unlike most geckos and other lizards that can drop their tail and regrow them, if they drop their tail to a predator to save their life, they can't grow their tail back. Oh and he jumped right there. And they'll also use that tail to help them break through the air and control their motion. So when they lose that tail, it takes them about a week to readjust and learn how to move their bodies in the air without that tail. But they're fine without it. They can actually learn how to use their toe pads as kind of an air brake. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, these guys don't want to lose that tail because it's like a monkey's tail. It's like a fifth arm. And these guys are really unique amongst geckos because they're one of the only species that eats fruits and vegetable material like nectar and plants. Most geckos are just mainly insectivorous. These guys are as well, they'll eat bugs, but they do mix in some fruits every once in a while. Another reason these guys are really hard to find in the wild is because of habitat loss, which is really unfortunate, and humans being foolish by introducing invasive species to the island. And those species are deer, pigs, and fire ants, which are probably the biggest threat to these guys because they eat their food sources, which are other insects, and fruit and vegetation, but they'll also eat the geckos themselves and prey on them, which is really hard because you can't drop your tail and escape from thousands of fire ants. And so one of the ways these guys avoid predation from fire ants and other bigger geckos in their environment is by being nocturnal. So that means they're mainly active at night and they do all their hunting for little insects and foraging for fruit during the nighttime so that they don't get seen as easily by predators. And one of the ways you can tell these guys are nocturnal is this very vertical slit pupil that it has. And that allows it to dilate even further so that they can take in more light and see very clearly at night. A really awesome thing about these crested geckos is that they don't have eyelids. So what that means is instead they have a scale over their eye that's translucent like a snake would. So that's going to protect their eye from anything getting in there. And the way they'll clean their eyes off, they can't blink like we can. So they're actually going to use their tongue like a windshield wiper and clean their eyes off like and get any kind of dust or water droplet that's on there off. But one of the things you might say is, well, how do they sleep? One of the ways scientists think these guys are asleep, one of the ways they think they can tell, is that their eye eyelashes right here will actually be drooped down, and when they're awake, they'll be up. So just a really awesome animal, all in all, the crested gecko, beautiful if you see it in the wild or if you have one as a pet, and one of my favorite lizards personally. And so if you guys like this video, please drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this, and thank you guys so much, see you next time.